बिसमीम् असलम गाइज़ वेलकम बैक टू इंटेंसिव स्टडी आज के लेक्चर में हम करंट अफेयर्स करेंगे सितंबर सेकंड वीक के आज के लेक्चर में हम जो भी लर्न करेंगे इसकी पीडीएफ फाइल आपको टेलीग्राम ग्रुप में मिल जाएगी जिसका लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में गिवन है वीडियो को एंड तक देखें अगर आप हमारे चैनल पर न्यू हैं तो हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें बेलाइकन को भी प्रेस करें ताकि आने वाली वीडियोज़ के नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलते रहें लेक्चर शुरू करते हैं Which province recently launched the Women Safety App? किस सूबे ने रिसेंटली लॉन्च की है वुमेन सेफ्टी ऐप सुबह पंजाब ने पंजाब गवर्नमेंट स्पोक्स मैन फयाज चौहान सेट डेट द गवर्नमेंट हैज़ लॉन्च वुमेन सेफ्टी ऐप टू मेक दैम फील सेफ वाई लिविंग देयर होम्स अक्रॉस दी पंजाब इन आ वीडियो मैसेज डेटेड अगस्त ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन मिस्टर चौहान सेट डेट पंजाब पुलिस हैज़ लॉन्च एन ऐप टू कॉन्टेक्ट द पुलिस इन केस ऑफ एमरजेंसी When will President Dr. R. F. Alvi address the Parliament on the occasion of the beginning of the fourth parliamentary year? September thirteen, twenty twenty-one. President Dr. R. F. Alvi will address the joint sitting of Parliament on September thirteen, which will mark the official start of the fourth parliamentary year of the current National Assembly. विच कंट्री रिसेंटली साइंड अ डॉलर वन पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट विद पाकिस्तान टू चेक ह्यूमन ट्रैफिकिंग किस कंट्री ने रिसेंटली डॉलर वन पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन पार्टनरशिप का एग्रीमेंट साइन किया है पाकिस्तान के साथ डेनमार्क ने द डेनिश गवर्नमेंट साइंड अस डॉलर वन पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट विद द इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर माइग्रेशन ऑन अगस्त थर्टियथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन The United Nations Migration Agency in Pakistan, which aims to stop human trafficking in Pakistan, it will help Pakistan increase its capacity. The partnership agreement was signed by Danish ambassador to the Danish embassy in Islamabad, Liz Rosen, home and IOM chief of the mission Mao Seto in Pakistan. When Kashmiri leader Syed Ali Gilani passed away, September first, twenty twenty one, Syed Ali Gilani, a senior Kashmiri leader and one of the strongest critics of India's occupation of Kashmir, died in September twenty twenty one. He was ninety two years old. He was a member of Jamaat e Islami Kashmiri between nineteen fifty three and two thousand four, and was one of the leading leaders. The first CPEC power transmission project started commercial operation zone which date September 1, 2021. The first China Pakistan economic corridor project in the power inquiry and transmission sector the 66 kilowatt high voltage direct current Matiari Lahore transmission line started commercial operations on its on its square वैटरन ब्लॉज लीडर सरदार अताउल्ला मेंगाल पास्ट वे इन कराची ऑन विच डेट सितंबर टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सरदार अताउल्ला मेंगाल अ वैटरन नेशनलिस्ट लीडर फाउंडर ऑफ द बलोचिस्तान नेशनल पार्टी एंड फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ बलोचिस्तान डायर इन कराची ऑन थर्सडे सेप्टंबर टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन हिज फैमिली एंड पार्टी सोर्स इज सेट ही वॉज नाइन्टी टू ईयर्स ऑफ एज आउट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी वन पाकिस्तानी यूनिवर्सिटीज Ranked by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings 2021, Pakistan's top ranked position is occupied by first number pe aayi hai Kaidi Azam University, Islamabad. Times Higher Education, the UK, which is the world's leading universities rankings agency, met the Federal Ministerial for Minister for Education and Professional Training Shafkat Mahmood on Thursday. September two, twenty twenty one, to present the latest rankings of Pakistani universities. Kaidi Azam University, a leading public sector university, is ranked first among the Pakistani HEIs with an international rank between five hundred one to six hundred for a second consecutive year. In addition, five Pakistani universities appear for the first time in the world's top eight hundred list. When Pakistan Navy inducted the first modern long-range maritime patrol twin-engine jet aircraft, 
September 2, 2021. The induction ceremony of the Pakistan Navy's first modern long-range maritime petrol twin-engine jet aircraft was held at PNS Mehran on September 2, 2021. Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral Muhammad Amjad Khan Niazi, was the chief guest. Who is the current British Foreign Secretary who recently visited Pakistan? Britannia ka kaun sa foreign secretary hai jisne recently visit kiya Pakistan ko? Dominic Raab. Who has been elected as the president of the Pakistan Squash Federation, PSF? Kaun PSF ka president elect hua hai? Zaheer Ahmed Babar. The chief of the Air Staff Fair Chief Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babar has been elected as the president of Pakistan Squash Federation. The election was conducted here during the 48th annual general meeting of the PSF at the air, at the air headquarters. Who is the first Pakistani to win? Who is the first Pakistani to win gold for Pakistan in Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games? Heather Ali, defying his years, it was finally Time for gold on September 3rd, 2021, when Pakistan's first and only medalist at the Paralympics became the country's first gold medal winner, getting a personal best in the process. Nothing beats that, really. The discus thrower hit 55.26 meter in his fifth attempt, three meter longer than Ukraine's Mikola Zipnik, who came in second place with the 52. 43 meter throw. Pakistan's selection group and Air Arabia to start new low cost airline in Pakistan. Pakistan ka jo group hai, Lexan group and Air Arabia. New airline Pakistan mein start kar rahe uska kya naam hai? Fly Jida. Pakistan's selection group and Middle Eastern budget carrier Air Arabia said on Friday, September 3rd, 2021, they would launch a new cost. Airlines serving domestic and international routes from Pakistan. Prime Minister Imran Khan is the tweet in a tweet welcome Air Arabia to Pakistan and wish the group success in establishing the new airline. Who wins the gold for Pakistan at World Beach Wrestling 2021? Inam Bhatt. Pakistani wrestler Inam Bhatt on Saturday, September 4, 2021, won the gold medal after defeating Ukrainian. Wrestler in the final of the World Beach Wrestling Championship 2021 in Rome, Italy. He won the match 3 to 0. Within the 90 kg category, the other day, the other day, Heather Lee became the first Pakistani to win a gold medal at the sum, at the Summer Paralympics as he hit 55.26 meter in Tokyo during his F37 discus through final. In Paralympic Games history, Pakistan has won three medals, a silver, a bronze and a gold medal. All three medals have come courtesy of Heather Ali. Pakistan has won three medals, a silver, bronze and a gold medal. In the Paralympic Games, all three medals have come courtesy of Heather Ali in the men long jumps and discus throw events. When DGISI Faz Hamid visit Kabul. Kab DG ISI Faz Hamid visit kya Kabul ko? September 4, 2021. Pakistan's powerful intelligence chief lieutenant general Faz Hamid dashed to Kabul on an unannounced visit MD's efforts by the Taliban to finalize the government in Afghanistan on Saturday, September 4, 2021. Next hai. How many gold medals did Pakistan win in Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games? 1. Which city is the second safest city in South Asia? Dusre number pe koon sa city hai jo meh foos tereen samjha jata hai South Asia mein? Islamabad. Islamabad has been ranked the second safest city in Southern Asia with a safety index of 70.85 number. A database of user-contributed data about cities and countries worldwide has identified Mangalore, Mangalore in India as the safest city in the Southern Asia 
with a safety index of 74.66 followed by pakistan in uh, followed by islamabad in pakistan and ahmedabad in india pakistan's second largest city lahore has been ranked as the 11th safest current city in the region with a safety index of 61.36 while no other city of pakistan makes it to the list साउथ एशिया में सेकंड नंबर पे आया है सेफेस्ट कंट्री इस्लामाबाद और पहले नंबर पे आया है मैंगालोर इंडिया से और ग्यारहवें नंबर पर आया है पाकिस्तान का लाहौर इसके अलावा पाकिस्तानी कोई और सिटी लाइन में नहीं आया नेक्स्ट है हु हैज़ बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू बॉलिंग कोच ऑफ द पाकिस्तान क्रिकेट टीम सकलैन मुश्ताक द पी सी बी हैज़ अपॉइंटेड सकलैन मुश्ताक एंड अब्दुल रजाक एज इन टैरम कोचिज़ फॉर द सीरीज विद इन द टीम मैनेजमेंट फॉर द आई सी सी मैंस टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू बी अपॉइंटेड इन ड्यू कोर्सेज हु इज़ द करंट चीफ ऑफ जनरल स्टाफ ऑफ पाकिस्तान आर्मी पाकिस्तान का करंट चीफ ऑफ आर्मी कौन है लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल अजहर आवाज अकॉर्डिंग टू द मिल्ट्रीज मीडिया विंग लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल साहिर शमसाद मिर्जा हैज़ बिन पोस्टेड एज कमांडर रावल पिंडी कॉप्स एंड लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल मोहम्मद चिराग हैदर एज कमांडर मुल्तान कॉप्स लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल अजहर अब्बास हैज़ बिन अपॉइंटेड चीफ ऑफ जनरल स्टाफ वाई लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल मोहम्मद वसीम अशरफ हैज़ बिन अपॉइंटेड डायरेक्टर जनरल जॉइंट स्टाफ हेड क्वार्टर्स लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल अजहर अब्बास वुड बी द डैश सी जी एस ऑफ द आर्मी थर्टी फिफ्थ Lieutenant General Azhar Abbas was on September 7, 2021 named as the army's next chief of general staff. General Abbas would be the 35th CGS of the army. He replaces Lieutenant General Sahe Shamsad Shamshad Mirza who was posted out as commander of Rawalpindi based 10 corps a post previously held by General Abbas. लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल अजहर अब्बास थर्टी फिफ्थ सी जी एस हैं आर्मी के इनसे पहले थे शमशाद मिर्जा नेक्स्ट है हु इज़ द करंट आई जी ऑफ पंजाब पुलिस करंट आई जी कौन है राव सरदार अली सात सितंबर दो हज़ार इक्कीस को राव सरदार अली सेलेक्ट हुए थे एज ए आई जी ऑफ पंजाब पुलिस Who becomes the first ever Pakistani woman in the world to summit Gondogro Peak? Saba Halim. Saba Halim, a Lums graduate, has made history as she has reportedly become the first woman in the world to climb a technical snow-capped Gondogro Peak located in northern Pakistan. Name the CIA director who recently meets Army Chief ISI Chief at GHQ. Recently CIA director का नाम बताएं जो कि मिले Army Chief ISI Chief at GHQ में William Burns उनका नाम है Central Intelligence Agency director William Burns discuss the situation in Afghanistan with Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa and Director General of the Inter Services Intelligence. और आई एस आई लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल फैज अहमीद हमीद द आई एस पी आर सेट ऑन सेप्टंबर नाइन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन अ पाकिस्तानी सोल्जर रिसेंटली मार्टा ड्यूरिंग आ पीस कीपिंग मिशन इन सूडान नेम्ड उसका नाम है लेंस नेक आदिल जान ऑन सेप्टंबर नाइन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ड्यूरिंग आ पीस कीपिंग मिशन इन सूडान अ पाकिस्तानी सोल्जर नेम्ड लेंस नेक आदिल जान एम्ब्रेस्ड When DG ISI host meeting of regional intelligence chief or chiefs on Afghanistan, September eleven, twenty twenty one, Director General Inter Services Intelligence, or DG ISI, Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid, on Saturday, September eleven, twenty twenty one, hosted a meeting of regional intelligence chief of Afghanistan as the situation in the country rapidly evolves. After a takeover by the Taliban nearly a month back, sources told that intelligence chiefs of Russia, Iran, China, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan attended the meeting hosted by Pakistan. Next, hai, 
स्पेनिश फॉरेन मिनिस्टर रिसेंटली विजिट टू पाकिस्तान वो कौन से स्पेनिश फॉरेन मिनिस्टर हैं जिन्होंने रिसेंटली पाकिस्तान को विजिट किया जोस मैनुअल अलबारिस द फॉरेन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्पेन जोस मैनुअल अलबेरिस विजिट पाकिस्तान ऑन टेंथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी वन वैन लोकल गवर्नमेंट इलेक्शन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन द कैंटोनमेंट बोर्ड्स बिंग हेल्ड सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इलेक्शन इन फोर्टी वन कैंटोनमेंट बोर्ड्स अक्रॉस पाकिस्तान विल प्लेस विल टेक प्लेस ऑन संडे सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेल्व नेक्स्ट है विच पॉलिटिकल पार्टी हैज अमर्ज एज द बिगेस्ट पार्टी इन द कंटोनमेंट बोर्ड पोल्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन पी टी आई अकॉर्डिंग टू द अनऑफिशियल एंड अनवेरीफाइड रिजल्ट ऑफ द कंटोनमेंट बोर्ड इलेक्शन द पी टी आई हैज इमर्ज एज द बिगेस्ट विनर थ्रू आउट द कंट्री वायल द पी एम एल एन केम क्लोज एट नंबर टू द पी टी आई मैनेज द सिक्योर सिक्सटी थ्री सीट्स वायल द पी एम एल एन वन फिफ्टी नाइन सीट्स फ्राम द्रॉस द कंट्री Contestants who won the election as independent candidates secured fifty-two seats in total. Who has been appointed as Pakistan coaches for T Twenty World Cup twenty twenty-one? Matthew Hayden and Vernon Philander. ये दोनों select हो मैं. Former Australia opener Matthew Hayden and former South Africa seamer Vernon Philander has been added to the Pakistan's team coach. Coaching staff for the upcoming T20 World Cup in the UAE. The new PCB chairman, Ramiz Raja, announced the appointments on Monday, September thirteen, twenty twenty one. Ramiz Raja currently serving as the dash chairman of the Pakistani Cricket Board, thirty six. U.S. forces leaves Afghanistan after how many years? Twenty years. The United States said on August thirty, twenty twenty one, it had completed the withdrawal of its forces from Afghanistan following a chaotic airlift nearly twenty year after it had invaded the country in the wake of the September eleven two thousand one attacks. John Watkins, world's oldest Test cricketer, has died on which date? September six, twenty twenty one. John Watkins. Who has been the world's oldest living Test cricketer? Has died in Durban at the age of ninety-eight. Cricket South Asia, uh, South Africa CSA announced on September six, twenty twenty-one. Exercise Bright Star is a multinational military exercise held in which country? Egypt. Exercise Bright Star is a multinational military exercise, which is held every two years once in Egypt, in the Egypt. This year's exercise would witness participation from twenty-one countries, including the USA. When did the Taliban announce a caretaker government in the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan? Seventh of September, twenty twenty-one. The Taliban on Tuesday, seventh September, twenty twenty-one, announced a caretaker government to run the affairs in Afghanistan, where they have returned to power after two decades. Mullah Hasan uh, Akhand has been named as the prime minister in the thirty-three member government. Sirajuddin Haqqani, the son of the founder of the Haqqani Network, has been named as the new interior minister. Who has been appointed as prime minister of Morocco? Aziz Akhanach, King Mohammed VI of Morocco, has appointed Aziz Akhanach of the Liberal National Rally of Independence (RNI) party. As a prime minister, and asked him to form a government. The thirtieth, thirteenth BRICS summit, twenty twenty one, will held on which? Ninth of September, twenty twenty one. The thirteenth BRICS summit will be held under India's chairship. On ninth September, twenty twenty one, it will be the third time that India will be hosting the BRICS summit after two thousand twelve and two thousand sixteen. The most goals scored triple one in international football soccer between two thousand three and twenty twenty one by an individual male was achieved by Cristiano Ronaldo. Next is the multinational military exercise named ZAP twenty twenty one is held in which country? Russia. ZAP 2021 a multinational military exercise being held at Nizhny 
Russia from 3rd to 16th September 2021. R9X Hellfire missile or also called the ninja bomb is associated with which country? Iska taluk hai USA se. The United States used a special missile in its drone strikes in Afghanistan. Dead does not explode but releases knife-like blades. Prayut Chan Ocha who was seen in the news recently is the Prime Minister of which country? Wo Prime Minister hai Thailand ke. Next year, the 2020 Summer Paralympics was held in Tokyo, Japan between 24 August to 5 September 2021. The 2020 Summer Paralympics, branded as Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games, were a major international multi-sport uh, para-sports event governed by the International Paralympics Committee. It was the 16th Summer Paralympic Game and was held in Tokyo, Japan between 24 August and 5 September 2021. Which country has won the most gold medals in Paralympic Games 2020? China China topped the medal table for the fifth consecutive game with 96 gold and 207 total medals. Which city is the safest city in South Asia? Me first in city South Asia ka kaun sa hai? Mangalore, India se. Or second number pe hai Islamabad, Pakistan se. When Taliban take complete control over Panjshir? Taliban ne kab complete control kiya Panjshir ko? September 6, 2020. Next hai, digital currency e Naira, which was in the news recently, is associated with which country? e Naira ka taluk hai Nigeria se. Nigeria Central Bank announced plans to launch its own digital currency named the e Naira. Next hai, who is the current head of the Olympic Council of Asia, OCA, Raja Randeer Singh? Last hai, the trilateral military exercise, Three Brothers, Three Brothers 2021 has begun in Baku. The trilateral military exercise, Three Brothers 2021 has begun in Baku, Azerbaijan, the the contingents of special forces from Pakistan, Azerbaijan and Turkey are participating in the exercise. Aaj ka topic yahan pe complete hua. Agar aapko video achhi lage to video ko like kare, humare channel ko subscribe kare aur bell icon ko bhi press kare taaki aane wale videos ke notifications aapko milte rahe. Thank you.